Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us as we take on the adventure that is Final Fantasy IX. So, yeah. Classic game. Are you old enough? Are you young enough? Are you simply just unaware enough of Final Fantasy IX and the long, long line of the Final Fantasy franchise? So, uh, Final Fantasy IX is considered one of the most popular games in the series. Uh, though it's my, not my personal favourite, I actually don't like Final Fantasy IX really at all to be honest actually i don't like the design of the characters i don't like the uh, i don't like the design of the characters i wasn't a huge fan of the story um i thought it was a bit of a throwback after final fantasy 7 and 8 and for a lot of other people that was exactly what they wanted from this they wanted a throwback game that was a fantasy rather than actually a sci-fi or cyberpunk kind of environment and um yeah i thought this might be worthwhile actually throwing onto the station for you guys to see me playing through the first parts of it at least. The intention is to probably play through most of this and point out a few of the tips that you can be done and what the difference is between, or talk about the difference between this version that was actually out in PC and its original version from way, way back. Obviously going to be a bit of a graphical upgrade, hopefully a bit of a musical upgrade. And um, yeah, maybe the same thing they did with Final Fantasy VII, which was like a triple speed ability to run through because I remember the beginning of Final Fantasy IX being a hell of a slog to get through and then after that the grinding for job levels and stuff was even slower because you had to actually fight so many fights to actually get the exp onto each of the items so we could have a uh, bit of adventure ahead of us to try and get uh, this game completed uh concerning the fact that i've, ma I've now abandoned three final fantasy games mid-game on this channel um i think it was final fantasy 10 final fantasy 15 and world of final fantasy have all been dropped at some point after doing about 14 15 episodes but we'll see how this goes and we'll see how the adventure continues uh obviously this is going to be a little bit of a time sink but hey if you guys are here with me i can survive it and i hope you can survive it too so let's take a look at final fantasy 10 final fantasy 10 final fantasy 9 i can't even say the name right melodies of life Ma, 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 ma. Not a, it's got a, not even a patch on uh, Fatali Liber, Li, Liberalis Fatali? Fatale? Fatali? Fatalis? Whatever it was the, uh, the Final Fantasy VIII kind of like, uh, big operatic that was actually played on it. The only thing that concerned me about this was these bars on the side that the game is actually in 4.3, not 16.9, which is... Mm. Even Final Fantasy VIII was actually in 16.9. I imagine this is actually partially because of the land of Tifa. Now I'm imagine Final Fantasy IX. It's the CG scenes that are going to be like this because of um, them only being haven't haven't only rendered them in 4.3 originally. So we're, uh, hopefully it's not going to, this four this vertical letterbox thing is annoying the shit out of me already. UK, please. <laughs> Why is it actually default in the English US? Why ain't that sweet? It actually has the staffing. So, yeah, 2017 Square Enix. Uh, why does it actually have a load game listed already? I'm just curious. Because I look at it going, like, if there's a load game and it can let me load for my Final Fantasy 7 save of some sort? So, that would be a weird touch to add into Final Fantasy 9. Here we go into Final Fantasy 9 from the start. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. The Omenada. That does look prettier, at least, just for the CG scenes. Like, I'm assuming these have been... Like, I'm assuming these are upscaled from the originals? Or are these the originals just the way they are? Just like, well, we can see them better now that we're not watching them on a PS1? A bit like an arcade game, as in, like, the vertical screens. Yeah, I mean, suppose, like, that you think about portrait monitors, I actually would like that uh, on a lot of old arcade games. Oh, terrible dreams while she's sitting in that comfortable seat by the window. Princess Garland, why are you so worried? Let's 
beautiful architecture, wonderful city, and a place to explore, I imagine, but, uh, I don't know. Like I said, Final Fantasy VIII had such a bombastic, action-orientated intro that was just really, really active, but this kind of, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't entertain me as much, it kind of like makes me feel a lot, it makes me less involved in what's going on. And our introduction to Zidane, the monkey man himself. So yeah, the, our main protagonist in this is, is Senshi Son Goku. <laughs> our first introduction to him is literally on board this ship, and uh, I think it was like the first time I played this, it was a bit odd to have a like, main character with a monkey tail. I didn't really kind of get the concept, but like, is, is, there, is there a lot of like animal people around here? So, so basic controls, <laughs> basic controls, wireless controller. Uh, L1, R1, L2 to fix the camera, R2 for perspective, skip battle, auto battle. Alright, so there's an auto battle now? Wait! Um, R to Moogle. Um, menu, up, down, left, right. So, we're using our left. Cool. So, it is actually music, making use of the PS4 controls. I'm just curious to you know what it means by some of these. Oh, there you go. Huh. So there actually is uh, codes. It feels weird to actually have this, so it's literally like apply in, apply out through the pause screen. But um, so I'm assuming you actually put it on, and then you can actually. Oh, whoa! <laughs> All right. So yeah, there's definitely a um, a, a cheat mode to get yourself through it a little bit faster. But um, yeah, that that looks like it looks really awkward. Oh, right. Oh, whoa, Jesus. Okay, a new menu screen for this? <laughs> Race, teal human. Gender, male. Age 16. Dominant hand, right. Alright, Zidane. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll stick, um... Uh, Tarzan boy. <laughs> that's, that's what we're going with. Tarzan boy. Tarzan boy. Alright, that's us, Grant. It's me, Tarzan Boy! I have to say, the characters do look so much nicer. Um, a massive improvement from playing it over. Because I've replayed Final Fantasy IX on the PS1 emulation that's available on PS3. And it really doesn't look all that impressive. Doesn't it? Historically, it doesn't seem to have actually held on to its ability to actually look good, which is a problem. So, where's the boss? In here? Yeah. Oh, monster head! Oh, I really don't like the menu screen. Though. It looks like a, it looks like it's been made, it's made by an off, like a knockoff of the original.
I'm gonna ruin my voice doing this voice. Here's the plan! Pentalus, the infamous band of daring thieves, that's us, is heading to the kingdom of Alexandria. Our mission, kidnap the heir to the throne, Princess Garnet. I'll take it from here. So listen up. Our ship's about to dock at Alexandria. And when it does, we're going to put on our costume. Perform, I want to be your canary, the most popular play in Alexandria. Break a leg, Marcus, because you're playing the lead. Leave the acting to me. Force the real kidnappers to be blank and toss it for him. I'll just drag the audience from backstage with these old books. We can't stand on gloves. But I'll manage, so don't worry about me. And that'll be your cue, Tarzan boy. So that's when I kidnap Princess Garner, right? You bet! You're gonna kidnap the most bagelicious beauty in all of Alexandria. Princess Garner. And see. <laughs> hey, I'm BB. Adorable little BB. To be honest, like it's just like this game for me was actually about making BB unbelievably broken because all of his magic. Um, Essentially, what you would do is you'd get auto reflect. Once you had auto reflect on the entire party, BB became a fucking monster of a powerhouse. Because every time he cast a spell, so I, what everybody else became were literally reflects and item droppers. So everybody else dropped items on whoever needed them for ether and whatever else. But BB just destroyed everything with like triple cast black mana, like black, triple cast thund thundaga. By four. Every single time, every single time you cast it, it would just destroy everybody. Hey, thanks very much, JP. Good, it's good for the appreciation. I'm, I think I'm finding the characters' voices. The, the older the game is, the more likely I am to think of what the voices would be for them. I was playing Final Fantasy Seven. It'd be the exact same voices. That's the problem. Because <laughs> I'm still thinking of the exact. I'm, it's Barrett. It's uh, like the the four or five. You think about this. The intro to this is very similar to the terrorist actions of. Project Avalanche, or uh, Operation Avalanche, with the uh, character from Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> it's, like, it's just like, they did that, and then they went, alright, we're gonna drop this now, and then we're gonna hang out with a little kid, who's uh, trying to find his ticket to the festival. <laughs> you little rat motherfucker. Hey, you get out of my way! Huh? Honorable nobles of Trina, Castle Alexandria is this way. Follow them, gonna follow them up to the top street. I think we're going this way to the street. Can I help you, son? Uh, um. What's this? There's something odd about this ticket. Why? It's another fake! I've seen so many today. No! No, no. Don't cry. I know how you must feel. Here, I'll give you these. Do try to chew up now. Hmm? Receive goblin card. Receive fan card. Receive skeleton card. And say hello to my new friend that's going to waste most of the day of my life, Tetramaster! Talk to Alleyway Jack. To learn more about cards. Good luck, lad. Um. Hey. Well, that sucks. Uh. Ah! Blasted! 
Hey, you made me miss you, little klutz. <coughs> Whew. That should do it. Well, it's been a long day. Hey, you, trip! You're the one with the phony ticket, ain't ya? I saw the guy tell you it was fake. Yeah, it's fake. I'll let you see the show if you become my slave. Alright. Awesome! Now for your first assignment. You go stand over there and see if anyone's coming. Uh... Yeah, it's clear. Awesome! Engage us. Engage according to mission parameters. Operation, steal the ladder and run! <laughs> um, hello? Excuse me, but is your name Alleyway Jack? Huh? How did you know my name? If you know who I am, you probably want to challenge me to a card game, huh? What, you don't know how to play? You want me to teach you? Well, eh, why not? I finished one job already. Follow me, kid. Let's start with the basics. You need five cards to play the game. To play a game, approach someone and press square. Some people may not be interested. In that case, move on to someone else. Um, I think I understand. This is the only town where I'm called Alleyway Jack. I go by other names elsewhere. They're also just aliases, of course. You want to know my real name? I'll tell you when you get better. Thank you. Need at least five cards to play a card game. Let's talk about how to actually play the game. Alright, so it's telling me how to play the game of Tetra Master, but I thought you, he gave you cards at the very beginning? Yeah. Ooh, I think I've actually finished this conversation. I think he gives me a couple of extra cards to start off with. Perfect. Yeah. Try again. There we go. Come back when you have ah. Come back when you have five cards. I thought he was actually he told he gave you cards at the very beginning. Get you started. Sucks. So um, yeah, we've got uh, something that we can do in a while if we want to. Oh, I forgot to see it took me all the way back here. I'm liking the fact that I have to turn it on and off each time I want to use it, but I'm cool with it. The well behind, end of the steeple! <coughs> now we're going to climb up this tower. Very dangerous, you go first. Oh, it's fine. Muggle time! Sorry about that, Koopa. Paul! And this is slave number one. Trying to get along, okay? Kapo, pleased to meet you. I'm sorry. I enter you in Moogle Diary. You want to see a game? Just ask us Moogles. Kapo! And you may gain help if you have a tent. Kapo! You understand? I understand. Kapo! Glad I can help, Kapo! Alright, time for some upward mobility. That's kind of impressive, climbing a ladder with a ladder. I actually, I'm, I'm mildly impressed by that. Okay, come on up, slave! Kippo, you here? Kippo, Stiltskin! Why that get up? You leaving, Kippo? Yeah. And this time I might be away for a long time. I'll miss you, Kubo. Now, don't you worry. I'll write. Okay, Kubo. 
Well, I'm off. Take care. Oh, say hi to Mosh in the castle for me. Stiltskin, the wandering Moogle. Was that a friend of yours? Yes, Koopa. A very special one, Koopa. Hey, slave, I thought I ordered you up by here. Play's gonna start if we don't hurry. Come on, get over here! Then yes, you're afraid of heights, aren't you? It's okay, just pretend you're on the ground. Okay. Come on already, we're running out of time. Not again. Don't worry, I won't fall. <laughs> I guess I fell. No point in worrying now, right? Don't like rooftops. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I don't even know your name. Um, Evie. I'm so, so tempted to actually write in motherfucker, but we'll actually have to leave that for the moment. Emoticons are unavailable. Um, Rias, black mage, gender male. Age appears to be nine. Dominant hand, right. Vivi! So your name is Vivi, huh? And a funny name. My name's Puck. Pleased to meet ya. I'll call you Fuck for now. Oh, wait. Mm, go this way. There we go. Is there a lot of route that I'm going to be taking that I can actually get items from? Uh, uh, nothing here. This is a curious. There might have been something there. Wall will be inside the castle. Come on, let's go. Uh, they essentially parkoured their way all the way into the castle. It does look quite glorious. I love the design of a lot of the stuff in this. The airships and all. There's actually a level of opulence in the content. That's kind of impressive. Show! And that's one ugly motherfucking face. What is up with your face, man? And of course, the, the guard who's sure and happy in his position of taking care of the princess. that she's unhappy. Why could she not be happy? I don't understand why she's unhappy. Why? It's a princess. Why is she unhappy? Why is she unhappy? I don't know why. Ladies and gentlemen, Nat's performance is a story that takes place long, long ago. Our heroine, Princess Cornelia, is torn from her lover, Marcus. She attempts to flee the castle, only to be captured by her father, King Leo. When our story begins, Marcus, having heard of this, crosses swords with the king. And now, your royal majesty, Queen Brown, your highness, Princess Garnet, noble ladies and lords, and our rooftop viewers, Tantalus proudly presents, I want to be your canary.
the adventure begins! Fortune hath escaped thee! For what end shalt thou live? For the sake of our friend, let us bury our steel in the heart of the wretched King Liu. Aye! We shall back thee, kinsman. Pray sheath thy swords. Come naked. For I too have lost a brother to this fiend. But who, out vermin, away! Thou darest bear thy sword before the king, or who stand in my way will be cast. the last of me, Marcus. Come back! Out of the way, Blank! Consider this, task boy. If Prince Snyder were to marry Princess Cornelia, peace would reign over both their kingdoms. It is foolishness that if all were so easy, why none would suffer in this world?
focus. The focus is here. What I remember doing was back when the characters came out. It was such a pain in the hole trying to impress these characters in the top of the story because it's very hard to do. Maybe I should be singing too. Oh, Alejandro! When the hundred nobles watching, the hundred were impressed. Queen Brown was quite impressed. Now we won't perform it again. <laughs> the shower of 10,000 gil! 10,000! 10 10k gil at the very top of the game? Jesus! Oof! <laughs> Been a chain, you Tarzan boy? Yeah, but this helmet. B, you! I can't smell. What are you talking about? My helmet's totally. My helmet totally reeks! My armor's way too big. And my back's really itchy. My boots are wet. My gloves are all slimy. There's cookie crumbs in my pockets! Okay, okay, I get the picture, man. See if travels, JP. Thanks very much for watching. You still have the package, right? Don't worry. Don't screw. Oh, oh, God. God, I hate all gloves. All right. First, I'll go pour some in sleep potion into Princess Garnet's teacup. And I've got a special something for the lovely queen. <laughs> They're sleeping so sound. All right, folks, so this is actually the top of the gameplay. We're past the basic first tutorial bits. This is where we're going to actually start running into combat and other things. So I'm going to actually take a quick momentary pause for just to take a break in the show. Uh, there will be a breakup of the way these episodes are actually done one after another, so you guys can actually enjoy them as a series rather than actually a long play that actually all goes one at, uh, all at the same time. Um, I want to say thank you very much for watching. Hope you actually guys continue on with the rest of the series. We won't be doing this kind of outro every single episode. We'll probably just like start in, start out from now onwards based on the way I've actually added them together. But this is just the intro episode. So I hope you actually stick around and enjoy the rest of the Final Fantasy IX playthrough as we play through it here on the channel. Uh, if you enjoy the show, uh, make sure to hit the playlist and go and watch through all of them. <laughs> because the more you watch, the, the more fun I'll actually have uh, making more videos like this. Doing longer play kind of series for games that I really enjoy. Hopefully I can give you a few tips and tricks. And whenever we play through this game, if we find anything out as we play, I will be putting that into small individual videos for a just a tip video on its own. But I want to say thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.